Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is, um, I'm sorry that my face is all done up, it's just because I did a um, previous makeup video based on Kim Kardashian which you can view in the previous one, if that makes any sense, but you can view it in the previous video before this. And I've, well, I'm going to start off by saying I'm going to be doing a Coco, the Coco film review. I did one and it didn't turn out very well, but I would just like to do another one to kind of make up for it, you know. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. I saw Coco the other day in, well, it wasn't exactly the other day, it was in January when it came out and I had waited months for this film to come out. It came out in America in November. And I just thought since then, when is COVID going to come out? And it finally did. And then when I watched it, it was not what I was expecting at all. It was so, so good. Um, the film is about, originally, it's about a boy named... Um, oh my god, what is his name? I'm going to put this one. Miguel. Miguel, right? Miguel loves music. He just adores it. It's like... He even has this part, I'm sorry if this is going to be a spoiler alert, but there's this part in the movie where above his family's um, home he has a loft and it's dedicated to Hector, which was a singer. Um, he was very, very famous. Everyone had loved him, his music, and Miguel had just wanted to be just like him. Um, but his family despise music, they just hate it. They they don't want him to play it anymore um, he, and then to prove that he has talent on the I think it's called the day of the dead and um, it's something they celebrate in Mexico um, he goes there to Hector's well kind of like his grave or tombstone and he finds his guitar in there he takes Hector's guitar and he um, he plays it but little does he know that it takes him to the day of the dead which when he plays it it takes him into I won't spoil it anymore but there's just it's just really good from here on there out I mean he just um, yeah he finds Hector and because he gets stuck in the day of the dead um, he finds Hector and Hector helps him, um, well tries to help him get back home because he needs his family's blessing to get back home but his family do not like music on that side either so he enlists the help of Hector to help him get back and to also play his music because the, he has a, his family has a wish they will let him go back if only he doesn't play music and that's what the whole film's about and there's, it's just so sad and emotional and they have just loads of twists to it um, I would say that I really like that movie that the only thing that I would say bad about it I can't really say anything bad about it because I just really really like it um, but I would just say the only bad point is is that I had to wait three months for this movie to come out I mean it came out straight away in the US and over here it just um, took three months and I was kind of disappointed about that not gonna lie. but I finally saw it in the end and then um, I think that's the only bad thing that I have to say about it I don't really have any bad points as a rating overall I'd give Coco I'd say a B I wouldn't say an A because there are some there is a flaw to it which I just said but that's my own personal opinion. Um, I also forgot to mention the cast. It is also created by Disney Pixar Animations, which I love every single Disney movie. If you know me, I'm a huge Disney fan. Um, I just love anything. I might even have a Disney day today because it is a snow day and I don't think I'm gonna be going out in it. I mean, I'm gonna get off track here, but I like looking outside at the snow, but I don't exactly like going out in it, if you get what I mean. But, the cast, you have a cast of, oh, yeah, there's some people. You have Jamie, Jamie Camille, I think that's how you say 
anything, I apologise for this it's not, but he's from Dad and Jane the Virgin. You have Gail Garcia Bernal, who plays Hector. You have Benjamin Bratt, who plays Ernesto de la Cruz. You have Rene Victor, who plays Abuelita. Um, there's just so much of the cast, and it's just, it's a really good story. You just have to go see it. I mean, but do you know what? There also is some good tunes to it as well that make you feel kind of like happy as you leave the cinema because where they're playing good songs it makes you leave the cinema feeling really happy that's what it did for me anyway but then there was some points where I did play one or two sad songs and I was a bit I won't spoil it for you anymore because I, I, <laughs> I do have spoilers um but there's a bit where he does play the song and um it's just a really sad moment and you I think you'll know which moment I mean and then I left the cinema feeling a bit emotional, but it was a happy film at the same time, and I was really happy about that. So I'm really glad that I saw this movie, and I recommend that you all do too. But yeah, that's my film review for now, and I hope you enjoyed. Just leave, um, I'm going to get this right, just leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe if you feel like it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!